Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a uh, quicksand inside of Roblox Studios. So let's get started. Alright guys, so um, first off, it's very, very simple. So you want to insert a part inside of the studio and then you can just resize this to whatever, like whichever height you want. Um, I'm just going to just randomly do something here like that. That's good enough. Now, if you want, you could just decorate it to make it look like sand. I'm just going to make it orange, I guess. I don't know what else to make it. Maybe like a sandish color like that. Oh, that just looks white. Come on. Um, okay, that looks like sand a little bit. All right, so I'm going to make sure you guys anchor this. Uh, shadow doesn't really matter. You could add that. doesn't matter. Now, this is going to be your sand. So if, um, now what you want to do is duplicate this part. You want to call this, um, let's call this barrier. It could be anything. All right, now what I'm going to do is raise this up to about the usual Roblox jump height. And the reason we're adding this is because even though the speed over here that once the player touches, you'll slow down, you can still jump up and you could be able to skip the whole part. So we're going to add a hitbox. And then, yeah, so you want to make sure this is transparency is, is, is one. And then make sure the can collide option is off. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now inside of the barrier, we're going to insert a script. And this is a script that we're going to use for to like stop the, uh, to make the player go slower so let's just let's start scripting all right guys so that is the script now these two parts are the exact same thing pretty much it's just that the only two things change over here is just touched and over here it's touch ended so make sure you guys take care of that and also this is six because it's gonna be the speed that when the player is slower 16 is the default speed so once you play the, the player touches the sand it'll go to a speed of six and then once the touch is ended so when you're not on the sand anymore you'll go back to normal default speed so let's go test that out and we should be able to walk normal at first and then the second we touch the sand it should slow us down quite a bit so i'm gonna walk around i'm normal and then the second touch of sand you can see i walk a lot slower and then after that it should stop okay uh, why is it not stopping did i did i anchor this let's see what happened um all right wait i just found out what i did i did touched ended instead of touch ended there you go Make sure you guys take care of that too. I just copy and pasted, that's why. So that should work. Let's stop it. Yes. And then. All right, so let's play it again. It was just this one ED. I added, I said touched ended instead of touch ended. But anyway, we're just going to replay that again. Um, so I'm walking normally. I touch it and I slow down. And then I get off and I'm fine again. Same thing. Now the reason, obviously, if I jumped, you can see like I'm still, I still go slowly because usually if you jump if the script was in the sand itself that means every time i'm not touching the sand i could just skip up the whole thing like i could just keep spam jumping and i'll be done so that's not what we want so we're going to keep it in the barrier that's basically it for this video so hopefully you guys did enjoy uh thank you guys so much for the continuous support uh we're so close to 2000 subscribers and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye